What is going on guys? I am back with another episode of Vikings. Obviously the thing that stuck out to me the most of last episode was the death of Bishop Hitman. Um, I'm still so fucking sad about that. I don't think Lagertha's dead, but I don't really understand why she would have just t taken off. I'm happy that Bjorn is going along with everything. I know that he was struggling with it in the beginning, and I know that he's still struggling with it, but I'm glad that he's not being as stubborn and as aggressive. I am really starting to wonder though if Ube wants to believe or does believe in the Christian God. Obviously in the beginning I thought, you know, he's doing, he needs to do this because otherwise their lives would remain in danger. So I am kind of curious to see where that goes. I know Torvi just did it because she had to, basically. I don't really know where this episode could go. I feel like last episode was really intense and exciting, so I kind of feel like this might be a little bit on the slower side, but we'll see. We're excited to watch, so let's dive right in. Oh my god, and how could I have forgotten? Alfred knows about Ethelred. I've talked to a couple of you guys in the comment section uh, last episode. I don't think Alfred obviously is going to kill his brother, but I think he is going to have to come up with a punishment that is a punishment, but still spares his brother's life, you know? Okay. Maybe she was just fighting for him and when he died, like, she didn't have anything left to fight for. I do affix the royal seal, and so it is done. And now I welcome you. Oh. Formally. As allies and as friends. That is not the end of our business today. Oh God. Guards. No. Arrest the traitors. Oh, see, I told you he was going to spare him. A little nervous, buddy? One-on-one -on -one battle, bro. Exactly my words when I was younger. But, uh... You live. And you learn. You and I, we are equals. I will cut your ropes if you answer me a question. I cannot help you. I saw nothing. <clears throat> You're a free woman. You can do anything you like. <laughs> I totally saw that coming. <laughs> what was that for? I was just exercising my freedom. You have I've already decided to forgive him. Okay. I have you I'm told him that? Pretty sure she's relieved about that. But if you won't talk to him, please give me your permission to do so. Please. I need to know why. Why do you want to see me? You need to stop with the attitude, bro. You know why. Lord Cunnerhud confessed everything. Very well. It's true. I was approached by them. I was still angry that I had been forced, so it seemed, to renounce the crown that I thought was mine by right. That's exactly what I thought. He they was persuaded me that Alfred had no support as king. I regret ever having listened to them. I will never, ever betray him again. I believe him. It seems King Harold was defeated in Wessex by the new King Alfred. I played chess with Prince Alfred. And now I would like to play chess with him again. <laughs> oh shit. Only this time. On the battlefield. <laughs> okay, I would be so down the to see that. That would definitely be such an 
awesome battle to see. I don't get it though, like was Ivar just playing dumb with the people? Maybe trying to weed out the Lagatha supporters or I don't I don't know. Here is the boundary of your legal possession. Beyond this point and right to the sea is the kingdom of East Anglia. It was ever in my gift. So I have gifted it to you. Look, girl! Look at this treasure. I like them together. I've lost my father. She kind of looks like Torun. And now my mother. Yet here's my father's dream. Right here. Everything he ever wanted for us. How strange. Jesus, he's fucking sick again? There is very little we can do. I wish there were. At least I can find the ingredients for some hot salves. Oh shit. Shit. So cynical, dear brother, huh? Cynicism poisons your mind, brother. Eventually you can't see the good in anyone or anything. There's no contradiction because it's possible that everything is part of the one. What? <laughs> what are you talking rubbish? <laughs> you know, I've often wondered whether you weren't a little crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Just like Margaret. You know what happened to her? Mm. Keeps throwing out those threats, man. I have to do something for myself. I don't belong here. I want to take her to get back from my mm. How? You have no army. Harold. A King Harold has? Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that. I feel like Bjorn really needs a win right now. He's very... I don't want to say lost, because he, he definitely knows what he wants, but he just isn't there at the moment, if that makes any sense. And just like he said, he feels like he doesn't belong there, and it's just he needs to find a different path. I I wouldn't mind Bjorn having Kattegat, like, ruling it. The only thing is, is he never really showed much interest in, like, the trading. He's more of just, like, the pure cold-blooded Viking. <laughs> so, I don't know. Alfred has suffered these attacks before and has always survived. You must have faith. A king who is always sick. What kind of a king is that? What is it that you say to these men? Oh, no, no, no. No fucking bueno, dude. If he died, would you be king? Yes. <laughs> then I hope he dies. <laughs> Yeah, that bitch looked way too happy when she walked into the room. Bjorn Ironside. How happy I am to see you. I don't care about any of that. I only care that I found my brother Bjorn. That I am Viking. And then we shall attack Katika. All together. I 
At least I know you care about your brother. Why wouldn't I? It's just so terrible how the nobles begin to conspire against him. As soon as he's sick. It's true. And yet, you must understand their fear. Not only for themselves, but for Wessex and England. Oh. What did you do? What did you do? Oh my god. Oh my god. What have you done? I don't believe that you have ever accepted your brother as king. So you've threatened me. Oh god. Oh god. I can't believe she did that. And I really can't believe she did that. I seriously don't know what to say. We all fucking know Judith is a fucking savage. And she's always favored Alfred because she actually loved the man that she conceived him with. I just, I can't. I was going on a roller coaster with him, and I, f I feel like Judith's breaking point was when he, he didn't put hands on her, but he fucking like pulled her down. The way he went out though, I, like, why couldn't she have made something like the shit Jamie gave Lady Olena? Why do you have to like- that was pure suffering. And oh my god, dude! Alright, so Alfred's wife is fucking pregnant, but we all know that it's gonna end up being Bjorn's. Okay, I shouldn't say we all know. There's totally a chance that it could be Alfred's because I'm sure they've had sex multiple times, whereas her and Bjorn only had sex once, but it only takes one. <laughs> She's either going to have a little black haired baby that's going to be Alfred's or it's going to be this little fucking beast of a baby with blonde hair. Well, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.